defending Man Cup champions are in the house as we welcome you into the Coburg Community Center here on your Sunday evening, the seventh day of the seventh month. He's Scott Arnold, I'm Jonathan Urbanowicz, and to quote old Ric Flair, to be the man, you gotta beat the man, Scott Arnold, and that makes sense for today's occasion as it is the 9-0 undefeated and defending Man Cup champions in the house in Six Nations to take on the Coburg Kodiaks, who, let's face it, 4-5 and five record, a chance to get back to 500 today, but to go back on ancient history, a team that was 3-13 and 13 last year, already to greener pastures here in 2024. This is easily the best season by far for the Coburg Kodiaks. They're flying, coming off a tough loss against Peterborough, but two back-to-back -back wins against Oakville the week prior to that. On the other side of the floor, you have the Six Nations Chiefs. They've already clinched first place. They cannot be caught. So sitting at 9-0 and right now, they're likely going for the undefeated season. I mean, who wouldn't? But right now they know that they're already in. They've got the bye. Finishing first place gives you the bye to the first round, and that's what they were after. So you're going to see some guys resting. You're not going to see a full lineup here tonight, and maybe not for the rest of the week here as we wrap up the regular season because they've got that top spot. This is Ontario native fights for the biscuit. Cody Jamison scores from long distance, two minutes and 32 seconds into the game. The Six Nations Chiefs are already on the board. Classic overhand shot, and this is vintage Cody Jamison. The ball coming right out, and as soon as he realizes he's got a couple steps, just boom, right into the back of the net. You can see Orlerman, how he tries to react to it. It's just too quick, already behind him. Well, is the Rogers TV area code as Austin Stats, oh my word, roll the highlight film. And Austin Stats, you're going to see him doing this all night. When he goes one-on-one, -on -one, you see how everyone's isolated to the far side. Jamison, who's the crease man, takes his man over, just leaving Stats all by himself to get that one-on-one. On one game. He never reaches the target. Instead, back the other way, it's Tyson Bell. Bell from St. Catharines, Ontario rips this home, and it's 3 nothing for Six Nations already here on the road. And you'll watch as soon as Bell gets it, he goes into a completely different speed, looks behind him twice just to make sure. No fakes needed. He's going at such high speed, he knows he can just drop that into the bottom and beat Orleman. Coburg gone a bit stagnant, hasn't gotten too much rubber towards the goalie, but as I say that, they shoot, they score, put it up on the board. Justin Sykes scores his first goal in a Coburg Kodiak's uniform. As you mentioned, Longbow getting that game winner here, and then he's on the floor for the first goal against for the Kodiaks, just coming back the other way. And here's how Jamison saw it. He slides over, thought he had the five hole closed. Lacrosse fans might remember Jeremy Thompson from his time in Edmonton or Saskatchewan, as it is a goal. Was that Lyle Thompson getting in on the front? Brother Lyle. Lyle, who's great with the ball, who's especially good in tight. Well, he didn't need to get all the way to the top of the crease. Once he got in that dotted shooting circle, he realized that, hey, I've got some room now as he elbows off a couple defenders and as he's falling backwards, gets that shot in. Three overtime losses in 2023. As Bomberry works his way in and he scores. Able to outmuscle Matt Duncan and Bomberry was able to put it behind Orlman for his second goal of the season. As we'll take a look at the replay here. Once again, just getting behind Duncan and bewildering Orlman. Now remember, Orlman was pulled in the last game early in the second period. In a game this entire season, that was only twice. Skiers! Nathan Grennan gets the first goal of the second period. A little bit of traffic in front, but Grennan, who's a huge pickup, Good acquisition along with hair wires and a couple other guys that have really found their own in this Coburg Kodiaks uniform this season. The latest acquisition though, Grennan, and you just see a nice overhand shot. Thompson tries to slide over and get a stick on it, but Grennan was too quick. Blow question mark after giving a chop. He ended up going to the box for Quincidental Miners as another goal is put on the boards. Johnny on the spot. That's Woods. And that all starts with Grennan. He brings the ball up. It's a shorthanded goal. So you can see five white jerseys, just the four black. Grennan makes the dish and then drives through the lane, clogs up that middle and creates a screen in front of goaltender Doug Jamison. Second up turn on the Jets, it's Tyson Bell. Bell goes in and ring the bell for a second time as it's a 6-3 game for the Six Nations Chiefs. Full speed and Burkoff didn't really hit him hard, just kind of got on his back after he shot. And Burkoff kind of went over and tapped him and I don't know what was said, but it was almost like a courtesy, hey, I didn't 
really mean to crank you like that into the boards. Can imagine how many second chance opportunities, aka extra possessions, the Six Nations Chiefs have gotten as Travis Longboat makes it a touchdown for the visiting Chiefs. Longboat from long distance. He was being pushed way back from away from the net. You can see right there, he still gets the shot off, uses the defender as a bit of a screen. Yeah, Jonah Bean. kind of came off awkwardly as he was shooting there. Bain was coming out full speed at him. And nothing, however, the only gentlemen sweep them over the course of the playoffs as another goal gets fired behind Orlman. Austin Stotts with his second goal of the game. Austin Stotts with a few opportunities here, gets his second goal. And you can just see him look a little behind his shoulder, see if anyone's coming. He realizes he's got that free lane, and he's got such a quick release and such an accurate shot. That would so right off the bench, Eli McLaughlin. Now it's Bomberry. I apologize, that was Longbow. And you know what? They denied him originally. They're not going to deny him here. It's a hat trick yet again for Austin Stotts. A bit of a scramble in front of the Kodiak's net and the loose ball ends up right into the stick. The guy's coming off of a five goal, seven point game in that 13-8 victory. He's continuing to roll here. You just see Stotts parked right out front. He's got the size, he's got the strength. All he had to do is turn and fire, but he held that position. Well, it is stopped fiercely by Jameson. Short-handed the other way, scoring short. Handed is Lyle Thompson. What a goal, his second of the game. So you see Thompson all calm on the bench and tons of space. Puglio is coming off the bench, looking to break that play up, but Thompson was a couple steps ahead of him. Third period the last time these two teams hooked it up. As Austin Stotts continues to roll, his fourth goal of the game, but more importantly, the big 5-0. 50 points and counting for the league leader here in the MSL in 2024. So it's his third goal earlier in the game. That put him as the first player in the league to reach 30 this year. And then now his fourth goal of the game makes him the first player in the league this season to reach the 50 point mark. And you see him doing it. Three black jerseys all trying to get to him. One does, that was Marinier, but it was too late. The goals against average is definitely gonna shoot up, but then the save percentage is gonna well benefit as Lyle Thompson with his second helping of the game. Lyle Thompson, that's the hat trick goal for him. His fifth point of this game and once again, Similar to his last goal, he just comes flying off the bench. A perfect line change. Stotts gets the ball, feeds it up to Thompson, who's just waiting right at the top of the crease. Nobody near him. We'll collect it. Brennan had to grab his own twig. Another low shot, and Brock Haley scores! A power play marker for the Kodiaks. It's Brock Haley's second goal in a Kodiak uniform in just his second game. Brock Haley, who came over from the Brooklyn Lacrosse Club, a big offensive threat. And he's able to underhand one right along the floor, just skips it off the cement. That's just a perfect, accurate shot by Brock Haley. As the final buzzer hits, the defending Man Cup champions remain undefeated here in 2024 as they improve to 10 and 0. As Scott alluded to, 16 straight wins versus MSL opponents. Can anybody beat these guys? 